Hey guys, Malkuth1974 coming back at you with a new short series called Asteroid or Bus. And well, we're going to use Mission Controller to actually intercept an asteroid in the new 23.5 Kerbal Space Program. And the new Mission Controller .60, which actually has ARM mission now, which is an asteroid redirect mission. So, we are tasked... We are tasked with actually... Who's giving us this mission? Jebedi Kerman's Junkyard and Spaceship Parts Co. is going to give us $924,000, 350 science points, to capture and dock with asteroid AST VVR759 unloaded. Then it wants us to bring it to a minimum periapsis of 22,000, 22 million and a max apoapsis of 26, which is, I believe, yeah, that's usually, in, usually this will have you uh, get in between Nimbus and Earth, and, and Nimbus and uh, the Moon. So yeah, we're gonna keep that. So let's actually find out where this satellite is. Like I said, this is probably gonna be a few episodes, a few little mini-series of episodes I have been practicing my satellite capturing. Do need to figure out which one. So it's what is it? VVR759. So let's find that sucker first. Is it this guy. VVR. Did I? No, it's seven. No, I just got it, didn't I? I just hit it on the right, and it's a B, so it's not going to be hard at all. Woohoo! So we got this right. So AST VVR759. That was one hell of a lucky draw right there. Oh, it's actually going to hit Kerbin, isn't it? No. No, it's going to come between 82 million of Kerbin. All right. So actually, let's get this baby to get as close as we can. Then we will launch our vessel, I would say, probably when it's 12 hours out there. We'll do some intercepts of it. 12 hours away 15 hours that's pretty close all right so let's actually get this thing let's actually show you the ship that we're going to be using this i won't show you the actual vessel until uh until it gets into space but this is the ship the launcher you can tell it has plenty of delta v to get us there the actual uh, probe that's going to put it in uh, space. Hopefully 5,204 Delta V is enough, but I'm thinking I might have some of this left. I might. I'm not sure. So this is the uh, second to last stage, which is this part right here. So hopefully that will get us there. So this is the vessel. It's using the new 3 millimeter parts from the NASA mission pack. Do we have everything all set? Everything looks good. That looks good. That's good. Let's get this thing in space. Let's get it in space! Oh, you know what I forgot to add to this? That might, it might just need... It might just need... Alright guys, I am back. All I did was added some control services, some ASA, ASASs to this. Uh, there's no 3mm ASS in uh, uh, vanilla, so it's actually within this part. And there's another ASS, a smaller one, on the actual uh, probe. So... Hopefully nothing explodes. Let's rock and roll, babies. I think I got way too much power for this. Where is my orbital vessel? We'll find out. Let's just watch it. We'll see how it goes. Okay. No, I don't. I actually set this up correctly. Where we have enough power to get it up into space. I actually reduced this with... Uh, in the game to, uh, uh, in the editor to 72.5. I was using fl uh, Flight Engineer to actually set up uh, a pretty much a, a TWR of like 1.5 at liftoff, or 1.4, and when we hit the second stage, we're gonna be at about 1.5 again, and then the last stage should be around 1.52. It's got the actual big rocket in it. That was an expensive rocket to launch, as we, we saw there. I believe it was 200,000. I wasn't really paying attention. I apologize in advance for that. We can actually check if 
I don't lose track here of what's going on. Uh, chips built log. We can go down. Yeah, it costs 221,000 for the arm redirect mission. So we're almost ready for our staging. I didn't put anything on here, but it doesn't seem to be affecting it all that much. Staging is done. Exactly what I wanted. I didn't want this to go up too high, but we should start kicking up some speed here. Which is about now. I'm not really at the, the MS, the, the, the speed I want to be. I'm going to be hitting about 10,000, probably at about 180. Yeah, that's what it's looking at. So we're a little bit off. So, I mean, it wasn't, a, it wasn't bad for a first guess, I guess, for uh, launching a mission. Uh, we could be doing a little bit better with uh, efficiency-wise with fuel, but, you know, when you launch these missions, you want to kind of have enough fuel anyway to get them where you need to get them. Uh, we got 50 seconds left on uh, stage three, or this stage right here before we lose it. We're down to 40 seconds. We're going to get up to uh, 16,000. This is up to 20, so I'm going to start getting this down a little bit more. I like Kerbal Engineer because it's giving me the numbers I need to know what I need to do with this vessel to make it work to get in the space. Uh, it's not really a cheat, you know, I don't usually use mech jeb because I consider it kind of cheaty, but a lot of people do need it, so it's fine with me if people use it. I used to use it when I first started out, so it's not like it's a big deal, but I, you would never catch me using it now because it's just no longer any fun. Doing this all yourself is what is inspiring to me, I guess. Alright, so we're going to lose that stage. And there's our bigger stage. Yes, that is the other three millimeter. It's the only one that can fit and I can give it my fairings that look correctly, that look correct. So, but this is actually uh, thrust limited down to 42. It does make it a little expensive on the, uh, on the mission controller side, but it's okay because the R missions generally pay between, I think, 500,000 and a million. Up, actually above a million, it can actually go above, but we will see. I guess you'd have to test that out with your cells with Mission Controller. So we're at 51. I'm just trying to get a pretty good uh, angle here. I'm trying to lose my periapsis for I don't have to. Uh, either way, you're gonna have to use it. It's probably better not to use it to use this right now until you're in space, but I am at 55, so I can lose this. Now we got, we can see the actual ship. All it is is a probe. It's going to attach to the saddle. It's going to attach to the asteroid, and hopefully it'll have enough thrust to at least put it into orbit. And then if we have to launch another vessel to actually do the dirty deed of getting it to where we need it, then we can actually do that. So... Get this. As you can tell, this thing is actually still hard to turn. Let me see where we are. We're at a pretty good angle, I would say. Let me get this going. Alright, there we go. There we go. Now I gotta find the blue. The blue. Estimated burn of 20 seconds, which is exactly what I wanted because I have 50 seconds left on this stage for actual uh, thrust. I'm hoping to actually intercept the asteroid with this still on, but we can't really guarantee that. F5 this baby. I'm going to have to open up these uh, panels here. We should be safe now. We're well out of the atmospheric problems. We'll open these up. We don't lose our power. What do we have for electric charge? 630. A lot of the parts I use for uh, my uh, modded Kerbal Space Program is A's Aerospace. Uh, that's what this engine's part of. Uh, the battery packs, uh, the solar engines, I mean the solar panels. Uh, I still use the vanilla engines, because, I mean the vanilla, vanilla um, tanks, because I didn't want to have too many parts in my game. I don't like having a huge amount of parts, but we'll see. So we want to start this burn at 6 seconds. That's your general cut in half. 
stuff. And there we go. Oh, I kind of missed it a little bit. That's all right. And as long as we get into orbit, we can see we're hitting that. I'm going to hit this at right there. So we're at 84 and 80. Going by Flight Engineer, we are good on that run. And now we have to capture that satellite. Or we're going to actually, at least in this part of the episode, try to get a good interception of it. So let's go back to Space Center. And... Find that saddle. I'm gonna lock on to it. Well, we're really not gonna lock on to it, but I mean, I'm gonna try to get it to. Is that it right there? Where'd it go? I should have it in here. Not escape correctly. Asteroid 7459. It is a little bit over us. That's kind of weird. It's coming down. It's coming down on the road. So are we in the... We are, wow, it's not going to be there for very long either. Alright, so... We best get out there and see if we can capture this thing. Uh, orbiting curve in. Let me see. I gotta see the situation here. I don't know. Usually I like to have them. I did some test runs with uh, smaller asteroids and a smaller ship to see. You know, actually we might be. I might. I let that go in a little bit too much. But it's usually. It's usually fine, I would think. I don't know. That's quite high up. Oh my god, it's way out of our league. I am way, way out of my league on that one. Holy crap. I would use all my energy to try to get that. Oh boy. Let me see if I can work something out with this. I'm so used... That one came... I should have paid attention to where it was coming. I should, have be... I should be in a polar orbit right now to get that, but I am not. I am in an equatorial orbit, and that is going to be a problem. Yes, it is. I'm not quite sure how I can do this. Alright, let me see here if I pull this out. Lift it. Pull. Lift. That will take us out of curb and space. This is going to use way too much energy. I don't even know how much I'm using right now. Holy crap. I don't even know what we're using here. There is absolutely no way I can intercept that with this vessel. Unless I slingshot. Could I possibly use... Is it going to come down? I might be able to intercept it outside. Because right now it's only showing the orbit of planet but it looks like it's coming down and it'll come down mm, I should let it go out let me see let me see if I can get this it's not gonna happen with that so let me get this back out I might still be able to save this I don't know all right guys what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get into an escape trajectory with the asteroid so we need to get this set up I have no idea if this is going to work. This could be a complete failure. This happens sometimes. I didn't realize I was going to have such a small window. And I keep forgetting. I did it last time when I did my test. But I luckily, it uh, 
the orbit of the asteroid in my test run on uh, intercepting a an asteroid actually uh, crossed over the equatorial pole um, or my equatorial uh, actual orbit. This one didn't. This one was all up in uh, the polar regions and you had to basically, if I was in the polar regions we would have been all set, but I wasn't so that stuff happens. So we're going to see what we can do here. This could possibly be a bust mission. And we might have to wait until next time to intercept this guy. But I do have this vessel up here. I can still technically get him. But we have to get into an orbit. And I'm going to get there now. Uh, what does this vessel have on it? Yeah, I'm going to not lose this, but it's going to be close. Asteroid or bust? What a good name. Has anybody actually busted when they did a video like this? Man, I'm always doing the first... The first. Asteroid or bust. And it's a bust right on the first try. Because I wasn't paying attention. I get all nervous doing videos and all of a sudden things don't work out right. So there we go. We'll find out once we get into an escape trajectory if we can actually get an intercept on this guy. Actually, you know, in, in all reality you can. It's just going to take longer. Uh, we're going to have to wait until we actually come back to Earth. I mean, not to Earth, to Kerbin. To actually um, put it into a periapsis that we need for the mission to be successful. Of course, we have all the time in the world, I guess. But, not really. I do have astronaut. Did I just hit that moon? <gasps> oh no! Oh no! Well, I would say that was a bust. Holy crap. I wasn't even paying attention if I hit the moon or not. Oh my god. Well, I would say that's it for this episode, guy. Episode 1 is done. We will have to wait for this asteroid to come back next year. And we will try again. Maybe we'll clean up some of my uh, my stuff here. So, as always, guys, this is Malkuth1974 for the epic fail of a century. The asteroid or bust. It's so sad. I know. That was a nice ship, too. It was pretty. I didn't even get to see it blow up. I just saw smoke and stuff. This is Malkuth out of here. Bye.